actually, I brought the glove with me today. Oh, good. And... Why did you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to the, to the school. No, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. What? Wait a minute. It's, uh, red or yellow, isn't it? Okay, before we actually proceed... Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. Okay then, as you can see this is custom made, and it's not only because of yellow like Miss Bride we're gonna say in a few seconds. And just to tell you, in the baseball game, you use the glove on the left hand normally. So yep. just look at the glove right now. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna say what yeah, it is. Yeah, I know, I know. I, 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 I think I got it there. Anyway, that's why you had to special order it. Yep, that's right. That, that and one other reason, and we're gonna find the other reason I by think it. good as hurt enough. Is, it is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Ooh. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. No, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. If that becomes you, please tell the court a little more about the name of on the ground. Yes, sir. Alright, another one. Written on the ground. It should be on the sand, but hey. And this is Allegro now. The yep. Allegro version of this examining. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. Found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. Oh, I was right all along. <laughs> there were also scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross seven the witness. And if Thank I got the sarcasm, man ass. No, I got it. No, you don't know how to do sarcasm. <laughs> sarcasm is Forgot weak. that. Your sarcasm is weak. Wait, I gotta say this. We first look into the handwriting, sir. That's the line I forgot. Now I said it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, just like I said before, the baseball glove is using the left hand, but that glove was the right hand. Which means it was left hand. Which means, which means it's a contradiction here because it was half hand, uh, hand and just like me. Ha ha! Left hand for the win. Ha ha! We are victorious, and I didn't do anything. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Did that take gumshoe? Take a look at this. Well, it's a good thing I was in the right evidence. Otherwise, we was held there. <laughs> Jesus. That's the glove, right? Yes. Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? Okay, that's the last time I actually pump my hands into the air. It yeah. also affects this, apparently. What's special? I um, never really thought about it, but, uh, it's really yellow. And it looks and that's like about bananas. It. it looks like bananas, yeah. Uh -huh. Aha, like hint, hint. Hint, hint. Bananas. Yes. Yeah, uh, the, the wrong <laughs> voice. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would it be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Like me. And this is called uh, Inform the Truth. 2002. 2000. Yeah. Left-handed? Well, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That is why it has to be custom made. I never really see... And I've never seen a bright yellow left-handers glove for sale. Have you? Well, um, no. So, detective. Which hand did the victim use to write the name with? Again. That's easy! Look, it's obvious. From this position, it was his... Wait, wait a sec! Don't forget that the victim was left-handed! Exactly! Ah! Aha! Left-handers are victorious! Oh my god. I mean, object! Mm -mm. Overruled! Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written the message with his right hand. Bullshit, I can do that. I can. <laughs> Let me try that. Okay, you're right, I can. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. <laughs> douchebag, yay! You lose the internet! God, the douchebag. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. When you think about it that way, then yes. It is not possible that this thing was written by the victim itself. That, that means Maggie is... No! It's not possible! Mr. Payne... 
Yes, Your Honor! <laughs> You're scared already! The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent! No! Alright, you did it, Mr. Wright! I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached a conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright! Me, Your Honor? Uh, well, thank you, sir. Ah, this is like the first game all, all over again, I said it's not. See, you got company from the judge again. You're real good. And that's why you, you can't give up being a warrior, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. <laughs> well, I'm too young to retire. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Uh, oh my god! He's doing something. No, not yet! Oh god. Oh my god, I thought this was too small to be the first case. <laughs> oh wait a second, that's exactly the same time as the other case. What am I talking about? I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Suspense! Well, we already know this. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What, what do you mean? We would like to call the next witness to the stand. What? This man gay! Yeah! <laughs> And what did this witness... witness? The moment that Vinner was pushed to his death, that's more he saw very face of the culprit. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god, what the hell what happened? I don't know! You all lose the internet again! On order in the court! I believe a recess is in order! Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. So, unlike the first game, you actually, in trials, you actually get checkpoints where you can save. I need more info. I have to see what I can find out during recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess! Excuse me. To be continued. So we get the save point. Alright. Oh, Jingle. I. Look, watch it. Phoenix Ryan Justice for all. Marathon! Marathon! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea! And you screw it up! Thank you! September 8th, 11.43 a.m. is to record the fan lobby number one. Yeah, we already know that. Alfred this one flag, so I don't have to record this all over again. Amnesia! I can't believe my warrior is trying to defend me in such a state. I, um, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with really strong shocking in your system. Come on, worry your head! A little me mega kick with <laughs> Oh god. Be all you need. Uh, mega kick! Oh no, no, I think I'll pass on this one. Come on, I'm sorry. Whenever someone is in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, I had one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Uh, well, I guess I'll start with my name and then I can tell you all about it. No, no, that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. Yeah, after that freaking Testimony. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix, right? Wait, wait is it Ryu? Oh, shut up. What a weird name. Yeah, it's weird, alright. But they're both weird, either way. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is serious, you can't really even remember. Mm. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, or maybe it will help. This is business card? I got this from you, it's mo my most prized possession. I can borrow you for- uh, yeah. you, can you can borrow it for- uh, You can borrow it for now, but uh, please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number, this is important. Yep. Phoenix Wright's business card. I guess for now, we should stop talking about me. And start talking about this case. This case? Yep. You think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, I can't think of anything other than an incident on the cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah! Your eyes were tapping when you talk about an attention center, sir. Uh huh? Hurry up and then tell me! This might be very important! Okay, details. Details, details. Okay, Roger! Details, 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 details. 
It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I pick up a lost cell phone. Why are you walking with Dustin? Dustin Beaver? <laughs> no, it's Justin, not Dustin. What do you think? Oh, God! Well, I was making fun of him. Yeah, and it's not a left handed. I'm sorry, Dustin! I didn't mean to! <laughs> Oh, by the way, Dustin actually is means to dust fingerprints. His name is actually let's check here. I forgot to say Dustin Dust Prince. Prince, which is uh, Dust Prince, which is dusting fingerprints, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Uh, hello. Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm so glad you called. We can meet. I can give you to ba this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Oh, God. That voice sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why. We're going to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for that person to show up. But he never did. Hmm. So where's the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it that... Phone in my pocket? You mean this? Do you think you had anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes l light up. Ah! You were here all along! You're so Holy mean! Holy crap! I call you millions of times and you didn't pick it up! Uh, hint, hint. Hmm. hint. Why is right cell phone missing? Also, why is Mai here? <laughs> All the cell phones. We answer it. Okay. One of them will be answered in this episode. The other answer will be answered in the end, I guess. So this case is like after Mai come back. So yeah, just to let you know, chronologically speaking. I call you meal this time, but you wouldn't pick up. Hint, hint. Something, something. Yeah. I don't know. And then when I am checking the courtroom, Emmy already left. Ah! Now who the heck is this? You know, I'm gonna slap you right now. Let me guess. You. <laughs> I'm supposed to know this girl too. Yep. Hey, good morning, Maggie. <laughs> and good morning to you too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word worse than abysmal? Oh, what if I said everything will be fine? That's right, Maya's rescue to with Ultra Super Defense. <laughs> <laughs> ultra Decisive uh, that Ultra Decisive Super Important Evidence. What God the hell damn it, is Maya. She's, what the oh. hell is that? Here you are, Nick. The thing you wanted to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. The heck is this? The list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was a kinda tough, but I managed to find out some dirt. It looks like these guys are up for to no good. No good? As in uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> There's a group of con actors the police are currently investigating. I think these uh, guys are the members of that group. Hmm, interesting. Names list. Well, let's not check it. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Hmm. Where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Why are you asking that? You're the one that asked me to look it up yesterday. Oh, oh, is that right? This number is what in the memory in the phone that Maggie found. By the way, let's check the court record for the profile of Maya. Yeah. He doesn't know his age. I don't remember who she is, but I get the feeling I know her. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I have really great memory. Yay. Okay, in this game, Maya is actually 18. So that's where they're from. You're awfully forgettable these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be forgettable old prawn like you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, recess is now over. Please bring the defendant to return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, uh, oops. <laughs> Guess who I have to get going. We can talk about this being old later, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, then I'll be even older, what the fuck? <laughs> Which is luck. Yeah, luck. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. Well, all that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't! Come on, Nick. Better get moving. Yeah. Fine. <coughs> Excuse me. September 8th. Uh, 
11.54am, the street court, court room number two. <coughs> Excuse me. The court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. But before I do, I, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things to rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked the court that might be a little lieutenant on him. There is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, your honor. Uh, the prosecution calls the next witness. A thriefer who is taking a walking walk in the park and on the day of the murder and stop laughing at us. <laughs> I didn't laugh at you. Uh, it was because of drifting. What the heck? Please anyway. state your name and coordinate. Oh, and no. this guy is totally not the one that pulled and actually knocked Phoenix right. Hey, guess what? He's gay face. Oh, by the way, it's inc quite incredible because Wright actually survived for something that many people would die. That's pretty cool, actually. Gay face! <laughs> Before okay. I... Edit, shut up. <laughs> Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Uh, oh, alright, go ahead. Just now, you introduced me a wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps a drifter who was taking a walk? Did I? But I will not stand for that. Now, you tied in the court. I covered me wrongly. And this guy is all bag. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's all bag in disguise. It's all bag male version. Jesus. <laughs> for some reason, he put some words in orange. I don't know why. Oh, no. Yeah, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I'll be more careful for now on. I'll, ah! stop, I'll stop crying. Uh. What is he? A human shatterbox? <laughs> no, he's a someone. human uh, CD. There you go. Uh, I have to question him? Maximilian Pegasus? No. I'm so fabulous! <laughs> Fashion, cars, woman, glasses, and of course, university. Who cares? Glasses? What? Wearing glasses? Yes, I am! No, Wait, I... oh, you mean the guy, okay. <laughs> That's enough! You need witness! Stop being fabulous! Well, we won't be fabulous after I <laughs> Oh, is that how you want to play this? Using the powers to influence in and keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks, you thought you had me, but you're wrong! You're wrong, I say! I'm sorry, it will happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. Alright, I suppose I can tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington. Okay, his name represents that um, he's rich, and that's pretty much it. And he, and he has Wellington meat. I think he gets Wellington for dinner. <laughs> Wellington. Yeah, Wellington's a meat, for those that don't know. Yeah, Wellington is probably just a really freaking long name for Sars, and also rich. He's rich, goddammit! Damn it, damn it, he's rich. It's Richard. It's Rich Richard. <laughs> rich roll, Rick roll. Anyways, the drifting Vittorioso. <sighs> With the... Uh... Sorry. No, you have to pronounce it in English, I guess. Okay. Futurioso. Actually, it's pronounced like that. What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't know that. Futurioso. Okay, it's like that. Okay. Happy? If you wanted to, you could you call me university student in transit. Transit? What? Uh huh, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking a, a strolling to the park, correct? It would appear you are attached to that word. If you must, then I, by all means. But I remind you that I am no way a word that I cannot read. Pre Stop using my own words! <laughs> They're my only weakness! Mommy! <laughs> Why the fuck did you say mommy there? I don't get it. Anyways, please testify to the court about what you saw during your walk through the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. No, I didn't. You know, you know, he's still taking a walk more what than you What new witness will do, Mr. Wellington? No, seriously, shut up. I hate this guy already. <laughs> I also hate him. Seriously. Yes. Anyway. I was at the park that afternoon, deep to the... Uh, about to my left. <laughs> Wait, Christmas Day. Wait, no. <laughs> you don't want to say the lines. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. Let's check if that's Let's right. Let's take a look if that's true. Yep, it was above Yep, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. All of a sudden, the police officer falls above me right in front of my eyes. 
Without thought, I woke up and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of a pretty defending there. The only other thing I saw was... Bananas? Hmm. Banana? Banana? That fell with the off police officer. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Was that a decisive testimony? Decisive, Nick? Did you hear what you said? Yeah. That's all you have to say. How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I, uh, believe in my client? Hmm. You mean Maggie? Yes, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy's lying. Obviously. You may no question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. Okay, okay so what you have to do, it's obvious, we show is ba the bananas. The banana, man. The banana. Dude, the banana! My god, I hate this guy. Ironically. Everyone will hate him. Because he's so rich. He's Although not even that memorable. Oh. Just a guy with the freaking weird hair. Although it's blonde in one part, hey. Well, like I said, this kinda looks like bananas, but um, if you, um, you saw the defendant, you probably would see the freaking baseball glove better. So I'll say, objection! objection! Screw you, Wellington. Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw, right here. I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? Oh, stop being so fabulous, Jesus. Fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think you can use something? I just press A incidentally, oh well. And that's where you be wrong! Wrong! Mr. Ray, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Yes. What? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? <laughs> that, 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 that's not... It, no! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness... Has bad eyesight. Uh, by the way, just how bad are your eyes? Um, how... Oh, oh. Why are you asking about the, uh, this time of all times? <laughs> but, but you're very simple, Mr. Second Cloth threw a bunch of bananas! Even though they're quite yellow. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled! You, you and those people, yes, you know what I mean? You're like those people. people yeah, 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 yeah. Possibilities in the end. View from, view afar. from afar. Yeah! And that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. Right now, I only using one more to read this. Oh wait a sec. They're about twenty. Two hundred. Twenty-two hundred. What does that mean? I don't uh, know. left, right. Wait, I have two hundred on the left. No, two hundred is on the right side. Wait, that's in the, actually in the DS version. He has twenty twenty, I believe. Oh well. Maybe it's an error because I don't think you can go above two hundred. But well, well, I don't know. I'm not the pro in this stuff. I suppose you're going to tell me that's horrible. Well, you're not wearing your glasses today, then. Uh, because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning to get a new pair made right away. But, you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so you replaced them. Hmm, glasses. How about are... when you witness a crime? Were you wearing your glasses, then? <laughs> He's killing himself. How about it, witness? He's struggling against himself. You heard of relating evil man. That's coming from the guy that looks like evil and talks fast as shit. Reminds me of old bag, said she's more evil. Which pulls out that you were not wearing your glasses at that time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. He killed himself again. But the height of the difference was only nine feet. It was a uh, <laughs> So that means it's three feet, uh, three meters. Yeah, three meters, exactly. It was very possible for him to see the face of the corporate standing on an upper path. Hmm, witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, the person's life is at stake. Yes, your honor. I now then, say. please continue with your testimony. 
Alright. Please tell the court what happened next to the moment after you witnessed the crime. Oh god. He's gonna kill himself again. Yeah. What happened next? The girl on the upper run away as soon as she realized it was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. I must have been 6.45 p.m. I made it the call. When I made the call, yeah. Stop being fabulous! They must have a lot of free time, and since they only show up t in 10 minutes. Hmm, 10 minutes. Hmm. That's gumshoe for you. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, so the person who was on the upper pass saw you when they ran away. Which is why I summoned Superior. I forgot to do his voice, but <laughs> I forget he talks. <laughs> and I hate him so. That girl is the murderer! Of course she is. Yeah, sure. Why not? You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Okay, finally. <clears throat> okay, what do we have to do here? Well, uh, as soon as I remember. I think it's one, uh, either it's a 6.45 p.m. or it's the 10 minutes one. Yeah, I think it's a 6.45 p.m. As we know, the murder time was 6 27, I think. 28. 28, yeah. Sorry, yeah so, sorry. this is like a really long gap to call the police. And by the way, if you press him here, uh, the, the gumshoe tells him what time he called the, the police. So, anyways, without further ado. There you go. Autopsy report. I have sometimes remember, thank god. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? Not to you, Judge, I mean him. According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what an outfit. He said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. Yep, he said immediately. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. That's a wrong thing. Yeah. There is clearly a 50 minute gap here. Actually, do you deny it? Sorry. No, I deny it. It was a 17 minutes gap. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 50 minute gap or the 17, excuse me. 